Hey guys, so today I have swatches of six new, well five new, one re-promote polishes from Picture Polish. These are available right now, so I will link the website down below. And also make sure to check out their list of international stockists if the actual Picture Polish website doesn't dropping things doesn't ship to where you are so six polishes all together uh, for embrace which is a re-promote I just I'm gonna link my swatch of this down below rather than do it all over again especially because when it's I don't like doing swatches after it's not a fresh bottle after like the bottle has been opened a few times so I linked my swatch of when the bottle was brand new down below and then live swatched the other five so it's six polishes all together and I will get into the swatches so the first polish is embrace this is actually being re-released I have swatched this in the past so I am going to I will link the video down below with a timestamp of where this one was live swatched, but it was two coats opaque, and I will put the picture up for you. The first of the new polishes is Blossom, and this is described as a soft baby pink scattered hollow with pink glass flecks. You can kind of pick those up on camera a little bit. So this is the lightest color out of the group. It is sheer on that first coat. It does spread out pretty evenly, though. I have a few streaks, but nothing terrible and a very good formula on this one. So you can see that first coat did settle a little bit there. I mean, it was already a little bit thicker on the side just because of how I applied it, but a little more settled there while it was drying. So you do wanna be careful to do thinner coats so it doesn't run too much on you. I can still see my nail line a bit here on that second coat. And you can still see a few of the streaks through there, but it does even out pretty well by the time the second coat goes on. That pink shimmer that you can see in the bottle also stands out really nicely on the nail. So this one does cover completely on that third coat. It covers up the nail line and then also fills in those darker spots or streaks that I had. The scattered holographic that's in there is made up of little tiny flakies, so they lay flat when it's dry. They don't stick up at all, and it dries pretty shiny, but obviously I'm going to recommend top coat anyway. So that is three coats of Blossom. So the next polish is called Florence, and this is described as a Tuscan Orange Scattered Holographic. So this one is a lot creamier and a lot more opaque than the last one was on the first coat. The last one had those little pink sparks to it, and I feel like when you see a polish that has an element like that, you can kind of assume it's going to be a little bit more sheer. I can still see a little bit of nail line here. Really good formula on this one. So this one does cover completely in two coats which is really nice for a polish that has any kind of like scattered holographic or anything added in that you can get two coat coverage and then also be able to see the holographic just fine. Just like the last one, these are little tiny flat laying flecks so you won't need a top coat to smooth it out at all and it dries fairly shiny but again top coat, wear it. So that is two coats of Florence. The next polish is called Heaven, and this is described as a lavender scattered holographic. So this one is a bit sheer on that first coat. It does cover it pretty evenly though, it's really not streaky at all, and a really good formula on this one. So I was rudely interrupted by an alarm on the first coat. This covers completely for me on the second coat, but it is so, so close to needing three. Like I can see where I could need three, if I did any thinner of a coat. So I'm gonna call this one of those two or three coaters just depending on your own application, your own preference, and then how white your nail line is. So that is two coats of Heaven. The next polish is called Cactus, and this is described as a khaki scattered hollow. And it's interesting to me because I thought I was the only one that referred to like an olive green and a khaki tan as khaki. Like for some reason, both of those colors could be khaki to me, and apparently I'm not alone in that. So this is, if you're not familiar with calling an olive green khaki, maybe that's normal, I don't know. This is an olive green scattered holographic. So this is a little bit sheer, but covers pretty well on that first coat. It applies pretty evenly, not so much on my pointer finger, because my pointer nail is like shaped really weird, and I was trying to make it cover in a straight line all the way to the sides instead of curving in like this and I just ended up overworking it and making it look uneven. 
good formula on this one as well. So this one does cover completely in two coats. And that second coat kind of deepens that green color a little bit. When it was semi-sheer on that first coat, it was looking a little more yellowy green on my nails. Again, little flakes, so it will dry smooth, and it does dry pretty shiny on its own. So that is two coats of cactus. And the last polish is called Cashmere, and this is described as a bowl brown scattered holographic. And this one is pretty opaque on that first coat because it is a darker shade. But you can still see those little scattered hollow pieces coming through really well. And good formula on this one also. So this one does cover completely on that second coat, which isn't a huge surprise because it was pretty opaque on the first. It does deepen a little bit once it's fully opaque. It's kind of a ready brown anyway. I feel like it gets a little bit more on the brown side after that second coat. So that is two coats of cashmere. So I know it's not the most springy polish ever, but I think cactus is going to be my favorite because I really, really like this shade of green. I like the mix of holographic in it. It covered really well, but you could still see the holographic. So. That one's gonna be my favorite. So those are the newest shades from Picture Polish. Again, I will link the Picture Polish website down below where you guys can check those out. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.